babies are born with a set of reflexes. Doctors check these reflexes just after birth because it is a sign that their nervous system is functional. Here are the six reflexes that your newborn will display. The moral reflex, often referred to as the startle reflex, makes its appearance when your infant is moved quickly in any direction. The infant's response is to extend their arms and legs while throwing back their head and then pulling their arms and legs back in. The infant may even trigger their moral response while they are fast asleep or even from sounds that they make such as cries or lower gas. The rooting reflex is triggered by touching the side of an infant's mouth. The infant reacts by turning their head toward the feeling of touch and opening their mouth. This reflex is important to help the infant find the nipple to feed off of. The sucking reflex occurs when something touches the roof of an infant's mouth. The infant's mouth will begin to suck strongly. This reflex is important for the infant to stay alive as it promotes sucking at the nipple. The tonic neck reflex appears when the infant's head is turned to one side. The arm in front of the face stretches out and the arm behind the head bends at the elbow. It is also referred to as the fencing position due to its resemblance to a person in position during the fencing sport. The stroking of an infant's palm triggers their fingers to close over in a tight grasp, known as the palmer grasp reflex. The strength and duration of this grasp is unpredictable. There is a similar reflex when stroking the infant's sole of their foot, called the plantar grasp reflex. A less known reflex is called the stepping reflex, where an infant appears to be walking once held upright and feet are touching a solid surface. This reflex disappears as early as two months, but reappears again around 12 months to assist the child in learning how to walk. Each reflex has a period of time for which it appears and disappears. All of these reflexes should be present at birth. The moral reflex disappears at around two months of age. The rooting reflex disappears at around four months of age. The sucking reflex disappears at around four months of age. The tonic neck reflex disappears around five to seven months of age. The palmer grass reflex disappears around five to six months of age. And the stepping reflex should disappear around two months of age. There is one more, commonly known as the swimming reflex, where parents say that when they hold their infant underwater, they will hold their breath. This isn't entirely false. This is actually called the bradycardia reflex, and it does cause an infant to hold their breath underwater and open their eyes underwater. Although this is a good response to being underwater, this reflex is not sufficient to keep your baby afloat and survive while being dunked in the water. It is really not recommended to dunk your baby underwater without any professionals around. Generally, baby swimming lessons can begin at six months of age, and the bradycardia reflex can be used to help a teach a baby how to swim. Thank you for watching, and thanks to our reflex star, Isla. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Bye, and have a wonderful rest of your day.